And there are new developments regarding the Zika virus here in Texas. The State Department of Health says four more people have tested positive for the disease and they have not traveled out of the area. Those cases are in South Texas. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is live now in the newsroom with an update on this story. Haley. Keith and Lauren, these four cases were found after another case was identified last month. They were found in Cameron County, which is in South Texas. These four are suspected of getting the disease in Cameron County and not from another country. This is video from the area as health crews did door to door screening earlier this week after that first case was diagnosed. The infected individuals reported getting Getting sick with Zika like symptoms between November 29th and December 1st. The health department believes they were likely infected several days earlier before mosquito control efforts intensified in that part of Brownsville. None of these people are pregnant women. The testing of people living in an eight block area around the homes of the identified cases continues, but has yet to show any additional evidence of Zika transmission in the rest of that larger area. Health officials in South Texas say the combination of mosquito control and colder weather has decreased mosquito activity in Cameron County and greatly decreased the probability of more widespread mosquito transmission of Zika. Now, because of these new cases, the Texas Health and Human Service Commission is expanding the Medicaid benefit for mosquito repellent beyond December 31st for residents of Cameron County. In the newsroom, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.